Hey guys, welcome back. You've tuned in to a Lap It Up, my drink review series. I am Sir Drinks A Lot, and this is On The Road With The Wolf. Cue, uh, really cool, uh, intro. You weren't expecting an intro, were you? <sighs> okay. Got you! Uh, <laughs> that was actually unintended. I did that right on the spot. Mmm. Um, I wanted to try a drink for you guys today. New Mountain Dew Zero Sugar. Mmm. <clears throat> there are zero calories, 55 milligrams of sodium, and there is nothing else. Um, okay, there are other things, I'm sure. Uh, carbonated water, citric acid, uh, natural flavors, potassium, benzoin, citrus pectin, uh, oh, aspartame. <sighs> Potassium citrate, caffeine, gum, arabic. So I'm going to have that funky. I don't like, I don't like, the, I don't like the flavor. Some people are allergic. I have a friend of mine. Like, when it comes to, like... I have a friend of mine who... Oh, two friends of mine. One of my friends is diabetic. And he can't... Like, trying to find a no-sugar gum, because he likes to chew gum, um, is really hard. And another friend, one of my friends who likes to chew gum, a lot of them use a the sugar-free, or they use the... Like they use aspartame or something else. And really, the only thing that he can get that's like real sugar gum um, that he really enjoys is chiclets. Which, I like chiclets. It's not keyboards. Gamers know what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's give this a shot. Because I've done the Mountain Dew. I don't think I've done a straight Mountain Dew on this channel. But I've had Mountain Dew before. And uh, it's been really sweet. So... Okay, I went into this, there it is, a little bit, expecting a really bad flavor. Or rather, not a bad flavor, but just a funky flavor. A lot of it for me, whenever I do the zero sugars or the no you know, the aspartame, the sugar-free or artificial, or artificially sweetened. The aftertaste is really what gets me. The, the funky, uh, the sweetness coupled with the after is always a bit weird for me. And it always kind of leaves a funky taste in my mouth. But it's not bad. It really isn't. It's actually really decent. It doesn't have a funky you're going to get hit by somebody by doing that, just so you know. Oh, okay. Danger Will Robinson. I can taste it. What normally would bother me in other drinks, like a, a zero Coke or something, it's like a kind of a bittery, kind of lame sweet. But I think it's the the lime, the the citrus, what's kind of making this not so bad. Uh, this is actually pretty decent. Um, in fact, I'm thinking probably. I might actually give... The, I'm going to give this a 3. Um, I think I'm going to give this a 7, though. I don't want any water after this. I'm going to try to rinse my mouth out. Yeah. I don't know what I would eat this with. That would cause like some kind of an issues, you know. So I'm sorry. Uh, yes, I did just check out somebody 
walking past. It's very attractive. Sorry. Um, notice. Notice. I did not roll down my window and explain to the person at length, Hello. Ha, you look ravishing. You can look, but just don't be a creep. So, but I like the people watch too. Just so we know, I am a people watcher. It doesn't necessarily have to be anything like specific. You know, sometimes my eyes, I mean, at that particular point in time, she's very attractive. Um, but there have been times where you see somebody like, man just walked by, hat. He's maybe limping off of one foot, but he's wearing, he's wearing boots. I wonder if he might have hurt his foot. Might it could be bandaged? You never know. Um, but yeah, that's me though. It's not bad. I'm gonna give it a three and a seven. It's good. I might regret doing that later on. I kind of want to give it a six, even it up with the three. But I'm gonna give it a seven. It's not bad. But that aspartame normally doesn't do well for me. I don't like the flavor. The aftertaste. So, I don't know. But yeah, we're going to stick with that for now. Not bad. Uh, it's, either, it's either I get kicked in the face by high fructose corn syrup, just ho oh, oh, really sweet, or I get that aspartame kind of a wang to it. At least that tastes like gum water, right? All right, Michelle? But yeah, anyway, um, not bad. Try it. Tell me what you think. If you don't like aspartame, don't mess with it. Don't even, don't even come close. But I think if, if I'm going to put this in the category, not just drinks, but in the category of zero sugar drinks, this would definitely get a three and a seven <clears throat> for sure. But we're going to stick to what we got. We got three and seven um, as is not going into categories. We're just going to block it in. Um, so just saying this would be high on a scale of as well, but I think it matches. <coughs> Which is uh, interesting for me. Anyway, I hope you're all doing well. As always, I'm Strings a lot, and I'm wishing you health, wealth, and love, and enough time and gusto to enjoy it all down to the last rod. Yeah. It's almost like one of these. These teas, really. Now that I think about it, it almost tastes like a, like a, like a brisk tea in a way, like with lemon, just without the carbonation. Like if you were to carbonate this, maybe. Is that weird? Isn't it? Drop down and do in that category, huh? Yes, I know. Any guess?